Hi y'all. Today I'm going to make a recipe of southern ambrosia and the ingredients we need are one 8 ounce tub of whipped topping thawed. I'm using Cool Whip. One cup of sour cream. One 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits drained well. A 15 ounce can of mandarin orange segments drained well. One cup of red or green seedless grapes sliced in half. One and a half cups of sweetened coconut flakes. One and a half cups of mini marshmallows. One 10 ounce jar of maraschino cherries, halved, drained very well. And a half a cup of chopped pecans. So I'm gonna measure out all my ingredients and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, I've got everything measured out. So, what we're gonna do to start is put the eight ounce container of whipped topping in the bowl with one cup of sour cream and y'all know me I'll try to get every last drop if I can okay and we want to mix that together and you can kind of tell once it's combined because the sour cream has a heavier texture than the whipped topping I'm sure you could use a whisk to do this quicker but I just don't want to dirty everything in the kitchen And then it says to take the one and a half cups of coconut flakes. And I like to make sure I don't have any big clumps. and the marshmallows and it says to combine these first oops well I'll let that one be but stir the coconut and the mini marshmallows into the Cool Whip sour cream mixture till it's good and combined and then everything else is pretty much going to go in at the same time and try not to put any liquid I drained them real well but then the little bit of liquid sitting in the bowl I don't want to pour that into the salad so those are the pineapple tidbits the mandarin orange segments and I had both green and red apples so I used both and halved them the maraschino cherries halved those look pretty oh that's pretty and then a half a cup of chopped pecans. And I'm going to try and stir this up without tossing most of it overboard. Oh my gosh, it looks good. It smells amazing. Oh, and this is the first time I've made this salad. My stepson gave me the recipe and wanted me to make it for him. So... I'm doing this for him. So this is just for you, Donnie. Well, it looks like a lot of sweetness. I don't want to 
break any of the fruit. I want it to stay in its pieces. But I just want to make sure I get everything stirred up and combined well. Okay. So that looks like a mess, but... I'll spoon it into a, another dish for serving. makes plenty. I should have, well, and I've got some extra pecans that I could put on top, but probably, I bet it would look cute. I should have saved a couple of maraschino cherries for the top and some pecans. So you might put, if you want to decorate it, put, save some cherries and some pecans for the top and I think that would just make it extra special I'm gonna taste this before I stop the video and I'll just use one of these bowls Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Make sure that... Sorry for munching in your ear. Anyway, like I said, this is really good and that comes together so fast. And I, the only thing I'd do different is I would have saved a couple of cherries or, or at least one and then some pecans for the top just to decorate it. And that's it. Just like usual, I'll put the recipe in the description box down below. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.